Another thing to point out is the gap. This never gets super hot. So that's why we decided to get rid of it and change it to a water heater. So this was the worst thing in the house. Oh, hello. Hey, welcome to our new house. We have just recently purchased this and why it's a new house to us, it's actually a very old house. It was built in 1978, that's not that old. But still, it needed a big renovation and that included changing out a lot of the gas appliances with electric appliances because the gas appliances were out of either recalled or out of date or at the end of life or were already broken. So it kind of made the decision relatively easy for us. So we decided to electrify our house. So we changed out a lot of the items in the house. Let us show you what we changed them out to and the reasons why. Figure out if electrifying your house is the right decision for you. Hi, I'm Jordan from The Plugin Report and come on inside. So this is our electric panel is very old. We're gonna upgrade it. But that's a nice thing with electrifying our house in our example, we didn't dramatically increase our loads just a little bit because the new appliances we put in are so energy efficient that stove in this house wasn't even gas, is already electric. So only a few things were gas in the house. So changing it didn't change our load. So that was nice for us, for you. Talk to an electrician, figure out if electrifying it will dramatically increase your loads, meaning you might need a new panel, which means more money and more costs to it. Another thing to point out is the gas, right? We were able to disconnect our gas meter, which is really nice for us. So we just capped it off of the house. So we no longer have gas going into the house, which is a nice thing for safety. You know where it's at. We talked to our local electric company about removing this completely, but they said to hook it back up would cost a lot of money because we'd have to bring it all back up to code. So they said this kind of setup right here was just fine. So that was good for us, a little safer. We were lucky enough to buy a house that was in severe need of a kitchen remodel. And that's when Jordan decided that we were going to get everything electric. And I have to say I was game for it all, except for the stove. I really wanted a gas range. We started looking into induction ranges and that's what we got and we are super happy with it. So let me tell you why we love it so much. So this cooktop uses magnetic induction to heat the pots and pans instead of using thermal induction and there are some benefits to that. So the first is that this never gets super hot. So we feel a lot more comfortable with our toddler cooking with us because it gets warm, very warm to the touch, but you're not gonna burn yourself on it. You'll burn yourself on the pot, but not actually on the glass cooktop, which is huge. The other benefit is that it is extremely efficient. So it takes half the amount of time to boil water. It is actually really fast. It's very precise with the temperature. And so it's actually a breeze to cook on it once you kind of get used to it. But there are some things you should know. So the first is that not every type of pan or pot will work on the stove. So you want to use stainless steel cast iron or something with enough iron in it. If you're not sure if your pots and pans will work on induction, one easy test is to take a magnet and stick it to the bottom. If a magnet sticks, it will work on your induction cooked cooktop range. Induction cooking uses electric currents to directly heat pots and pans through magnetic induction. Instead of using thermal conduction, which a gas or electric element transferring heat from burner to a pot or pan, induction heats the cooking vessel itself almost instantly. It's that simple. That's from Frigidaire. <laughs> I had to figure out how to explain how this works. One more benefit, because I always forget whether I've actually turned off the stove all the way when I'm done cooking. If you remove this, you'll see it's blinking and it's telling you that, uh oh, there's no pan on there. I'm gonna shut off really soon and it'll shut off. So you'll know that you haven't left your range on. Also, this is getting warm. This is cool. Warm, cool, pretty cool. So in this old house, we had a few gas appliances. All right, the water heater was gas. We had a gas fireplace, and we also had a gas HVAC system for it. So surprisingly, the dryer was not on gas, so it kind of made it simpler for us. But first of all, the water heater. So we changed it from an old gas water heater to an electric water heater. And we could have gone with an electric heat pump water heater. Those would have been more efficient and also give me an energy rebate with my electric company. But due to cost, it just made more sense to us to go with, with a water, an electric water heater. It was far cheaper for us. Also too, if we ever convert this garage, which we would like to someday into a living space, um, a heat pump water heater puts out cold air into the room. Not a deal breaker, it's not that much cold heat, but it's better to kind of pump that cold heat to the outside so then it's not fighting with the HVAC system. 
So we got a high efficiency electric water heater. That was an easy change out for us. So one other thing, our gas water heater was over 25 years old. It was a relic, it was amazing, it was still operating. We had a plumber come out to look at it and he says, hey, it's still working right now, but we really can't control the temperature, so it's scalding hot for your toddler and it might not last very much longer. So that's why we decided to get rid of it and change it to a water heater. We weren't just being wasteful and switching out appliances that were perfectly good. All this stuff was on the way out. That's why I made it an easy decision for us to electrify. You gotta figure out what's right for you and your prices price point so now while I'm out here is the dryer we actually kept the old washer and dryer so that worked out really well for us we didn't have to spend more money like I said this was surprisingly already electric even though there was gas like literally two feet away from it they had this as an electric dryer if it was a gas dryer we probably we would have changed it out to electric would have been a no-brainer for us but instead of save some money we'll see how long this old electric dryer lasts us hopefully for a long time all right let me show you the fireplace Okay, the last one is the fireplace. This had a gas fireplace in there, and I think they use it for gas and wood. So what happened was the gas valve is stuck on it, so instead of paying a lot of money to get the gas valve fixed, we decided to cap it right off. So we just removed it, we capped off the natural gas supply to the fireplace right there, and right now we're just using it as a decorative fireplace. The plan is to put a liner in here and make this into a proper wood-burning, high-efficiency fireplace, which would be really nice and far more efficient than what we had before. So that's the plan on that, so no more gas in the fireplace. Last but not least is our HVAC system. So this was the worst thing in the house. The old HVAC was gas, it was forced air, it was really old. It was, it was gone, it wasn't working anymore. So no brainer for us. So we decided to switch out with a heat pump system. So this is a split system by Mitsubishi. This is the condenser and it's two evaporators inside the house. This is used for air conditioning and heating. It is high efficiency because it is a heat pump and it works great. Like I said, it was expensive to put in. We even need a new ducting. You'll have to check with your HVAC service provider, see what they'll have to do for your house. But this thing is far more energy efficient and it is just great going forward. It keeps our house nice and cool for it. Another good thing too is our local electrical company gave us a rebate or money back for changing this out. They also did it for the water heater and even for putting in smart thermostats. Those a new smart thermostat cost $100 and they gave me $50 back per thermostat. So check with your local company to see if they can give you good deals. Maybe it makes sense to electrify. At least it helps, right? It takes the burden off the cost of it. So thanks so much for watching. This is how I electrified my house. The next step is for me to get solar put on the house. So then hopefully maybe someday I'll be off the grid. Our main goal was to reduce your carbon footprint and just kind of like a cleaner house with electricity. So figure out what's right for you in your house. If you're planning on doing a big remodel and updating a lot of appliances, start changing them out to electric. It might make sense. Click subscribe for more information on going electric from the plug-in report. Thanks for watching.